I hope your usual is okay. I thought I'd grab our drinks early to ensure us the table. It's getting pretty crowded. Hmm? Oh, yeah. I just got back from the police station. It went about as well as I'd expected. I got answers to my questions, but they left me even more confused. Well, I pretended to be a local business owner inquiring about why the missing persons posters had to be taken down. <laughs> yeah. I figured they wouldn't tell me anything if they thought I was just a concerned student being nosy. Anyway, they told me the flyers were supposed to be taken down because the case was closed. Exactly. And it gets even weirder. The reason why the case was closed? A body was recovered from a car wreck and identified by a family member. I know. It just doesn't add up. But they mentioned that the person putting up the flyers was just a disturbed loved one of the deceased who was refusing to accept the closing of the case. Yeah. This whole thing seems pretty heartbreaking. But how'd it go with the dean? Hmm. So you told him you were working on a paper. I was wondering how you got that appointment. Did they mention why they didn't report the missing student when it was first brought to their attention? Mm hmm So they're instructed not to announce anything before checking in with the police department. Sounds a lot like what that guy at the diner was saying. But they probably recovered the body from that car wreck pretty soon after they were reported missing. Yeah, I mean, anything's possible. We don't exactly have a lot of information at this point. It seems like the police have been working really hard to keep this story from going around, but I got the feeling that they were just trying to protect their reputation more than someone in their ranks. Did you find anything else? Weird? How? So he was totally normal until you brought up the missing student. That's suspicious. Wait, he thought someone put you up to this? Did he say who? Olivia? Was it Olivia? <laughs> that name came up at the station, too. I saw it on the list of names on the police report. Uh, they didn't let me look at the report. I just took a peek at it myself when they were turned around. <laughs> I wasn't sure how it was connected, so I didn't mention it before. But since it seems that this Olivia person has come up twice today... My thoughts exactly. If we can track her down, maybe we can figure out why she's still putting up these flyers around the city. Hmm. We might not be out of leads yet. I'm gonna make some calls. By the way, are you still coming over for movie night? <sighs> oh god, don't remind me. What is it with you and your obsession with things that'll raise my blood pressure? Movie night is supposed to be time for pizza and chilling out. <laughs> that was a lame pun and you know it. <laughs> Don't start with the pouting again. I didn't say we couldn't watch it. <laughs> hey, watch it with the surprise hugs, will you? I could have spilled my coffee. I can't breathe. <laughs> it's... it's fine. I've got to head over to my night class. Text me when you're on your way. Great. I'll see you then. <laughs> oh. That's a lot of trash talk coming from someone who just spent the last few rounds getting bounced around the screen like a pinball. You do know which button to push for block, right? <laughs> a 
another bet, huh? You're that confident you could turn this one around? <laughs> All right. Hmm. Okay. If I win, I get to pick the movie we watch tonight. And the next time. <laughs> what? I know how this works, Daredevil. Your little adventure spirit sucks the fun out of the crazier dares I could have come up with. Anything more dangerous, and you'd probably like it. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you get off on the adrenaline rush. <laughs> so what are your terms? <laughs> oh, because that's a completely fair bet. <laughs> you know very well what I mean. Don't try to act all innocent. My terms were picking the movies for movie night. Yours involves assisting Nate with his latest attempt to narrowly escape an early demise and call it performance art. <laughs> you know, now that I'm saying that out loud, I'm totally starting to see how you two are friends. <laughs> <laughs> his niche? The guy has a growing reputation on campus as that one kid with the singed eyebrows who rides around in a unicycle. How much more niche can you get? <laughs> Besides, why does he need my help when he's got you to serve as his lovely assistant? Oh, I see. So your little urban exploration group wants to meet to discuss best practices for trespassing condemned buildings. And you think you could rope me into covering for you with a bet. <laughs> yeah, no way. <laughs> of course I'm going to win. It's just stupid that you... Oh, so that's how it is, huh? Fine. It's a deal. One fight to settle the winner. And when I kick your ass, I get to pick the movie and your covering for the pizza. What did I say, Daredevil? You stood no chance. <laughs> what? How did you... No, there's no way I'm letting you win that easily. <laughs> what? <laughs> when did you get so good at this game? You've been playing like shit all night. Did you just hustle me? <laughs> oh, you do not get to change the subject now, you little brat. What, did you practice for the last few weeks just in case you needed to win a bet? Or were you purposely playing like crap this whole time? <laughs> oh, no, you don't. <laughs> you can order that pizza after you receive your punishment, you con. <laughs> Oh, tickles are absolutely a befitting punishment for conning me into a bet, you little shit. <laughs> okay, I think that was sufficient for now. Oh, sorry about that. I got a little carried away there. Well, let me get off you now. Huh? Me? I, yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> So, uh, what time is that rehearsal? <laughs> well, of course I'm still going through with it. You're a little shit for hustling me, but you didn't cheat. And I'm a little flattered that you had to practice so much just to beat me at this game. <laughs> Besides, you need the night off, and I don't go back on my word. You're welcome. So, what's the deal? Am I just walking on stage with a silver platter of knives, or...? Huh? 
What do you mean he's not doing the knife-throwing gig this week? And why do I get the distinct impression that you left that detail out until just now? <laughs> sweet. Who said anything about sweet? No. You know what? No. We're not going to dissect your word choice, because I still don't know what I just signed up for. Tell me. Now. Human paintbrush? What the hell does that even mean? <laughs> Why can't he just pour the paint on himself? I don't even know why I bothered asking. <sighs> Alright. I guess I should be grateful it's not something flammable. This time. Hang on. I've been waiting for this call. Hello? Yeah, that was me. Thanks for calling. I just need Sorry about that. That was the sheriff's office. Yeah. I left a message with the front desk earlier. Told him I wanted the name of the person who's been going around leaving these flyers so I knew who to watch out for. <laughs> They bought the act, and guess what? We were right. Olivia was the name of the person leaving the flyers around. <laughs> yeah, and it gets better. They told me she's a student here at EVU. It's a big campus, but it's not that big. We've got her full name now. It shouldn't be too hard to find if we were able to get this far. Hmm? Oh, <laughs> yeah. I guess I'm pretty invested now. Things just don't feel right. Are you still feeling the same way? Great. Then it's settled. We can do some research to find Olivia and see if we can ask her about the flyers. Are you free tomorrow? Perfect. We'll meet up after your class. Now, I believe you were about to order us some pizza as penance for scamming me. <laughs> I may forgive, but I never forget. Especially as far as pizza's concerned. Now, go order while I set up the movie. Yes, it's your pick. Now hurry up before I change my mind.